Okay, as a communications engineer, I see a level of sophistication in DNA that is extraordinarily beyond anything humans have ever What designed. would be an example of putting a limitation on it? Okay, of, well, of, of assuming that, um, uh, assuming that designs are horribly flawed. So like example. Junk DNA, you mean? Well, junk, junk, assuming there's junk. And you go, no, I'm going to assume there's not junk. I'm going to assume that none of it is junk, that it's all there for a reason, okay? Because any other assumption limits my ability to discover. Or when I look at a, a human eye, which has a blind spot, right? There's a lot of people that go, yeah, look at that stupid blind spot. What kind of designer would make that? Oh, what a stupid design. You know, I design things for a living. I was an acoustical engineer. I designed speakers and the Honda Civic and the Jeep Cherokee mm -hmm. and, and the Acura Vigor. And, and enge all engineers know that there's compromises. Mm -hmm. And, you, and if, if, you, if, you do, if you make this one choice, it cascades to all these other choices. What if we assume that the design of the eye is actually optimal, optimal. given the materials and the space and, and all of the processes that have to build the eye and all of the factors, what if we assume it's actually about as close to optimal as you can get and then ask why and how? Mm -hmm. Or at least assume that if it looks suboptimal, don't conclude that's the final answer. Leave a, right. and, and don't stop and then move on to the next problem. Right. Could be that you don't fully understand yet. Right. 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 Um, and that's been discovered over and over again yes. in biology, right? Yes. We thought that was suboptimal, but no, it's not. Well, yeah, like, like vestigial organs. Right. Okay. You know, 100 years ago, they had the list of vestigial organs, there was like 100 of them. <laughs> right. And now it's down to one or two. And I even question whether those one or two are really vestigial. Yeah. Or maybe they serve an evolutionary purpose. Yeah. You know, so. So I, I think we need to be charitable in mm -hmm. our right. It's a good word for it. In our uh, assumptions, mm -hmm. um, should we go on and talk about evolution?